Om Shanti. Good morning, everyone. In today's Murli, Baba is giving us a signal of the closeness of time. And then here Baba reminds us of three things that is suddenly, ever ready, and practice over a long period of time. And Baba has really emphasized on one word that is attention. Baba said, you children do pay attention, but now you need to intensify your efforts according to the time. And especially Baba is drawing our attention towards the Amrit Vela Yoga today. Baba said that the vibrations of your Amrit Vela Yoga spreads into the atmosphere. And therefore, you need to pay more attention to the effort of this time. So let us all see what Baba has to say in today's Murli. The original date is 30th November 2011. Essence is, at Amrit Vela, especially become an experienced embodiment of all powers and spread the Sakash of Yoga into the atmosphere. Keep your mind constantly busy. The call of the time is, may you be an intense effort maker. 
Today, Bab Dada is seeing the sparkling stars of fortune on the foreheads of all the children everywhere. Just as Baba says now, let us all visualize the same thing. Sparkling fortune on the forehead and then Baba explains it very well. What is the fortune that we have received? So Baba says one is the fortune of your birth. Second is the fortune of your relationships. And the third of the attainments. So birth, relationships and attainments. Baba is pleased seeing all three fortunes. You know the fortune of your birth. That it is the bestower of fortune himself who has given all of you this divine birth. That is this Brahmin birth. So the fortune of the birth is that you have this Brahmin birth from the bestower of fortune himself. So just think how great your fortune is. Together with that, there are the relationships. You know their specialities, that you have all three relationships of the father, the teacher, and the Satguru in the one father. And so all three relationships in one father. All three relationships are in the one. You also know the attainments. Where the father is, there are the attainments, all and unlimited. So what is the speciality of the attainment? Baba says it is, you have all the attainments and that too unlimited. All three relationships are in the one. Generally, these three relationships are essential in life, father, teacher and Satguru. However, for the people of the world, all relationships are separate. Whereas you have all three relationships in one. Because of having all three relationships in the one, you easily experience remembrance. Right? So, Baba said, in the world, you have the father, teacher, and Sadhguru separate. So, you have to remember three different people. But then here, Baba says, all three relationships are in one Baba. And so, it's easy to remember. All of you are experienced in the three relationships. Are you not? What do you receive from the father? What do you receive from the father? An inheritance. You receive such an elevated inheritance, and this inheritance lasts for so long because you receive it from God the Father. The second relationship is that of the teacher. Teachings are said to be your source of income. So, from the Father, you receive the inheritance. From the teacher, you receive the teachings, that is the source of income. So all of you have received such a huge attainment from the teacher. You know that, do you not? You cannot receive such a huge attainment from anyone except the Supreme Soul, the Father. Through the teachings, you receive a status and you have an elevated attainment. In the world, an elevated status is said to be that of a royal status. You too have received the royal status from the teacher. Even now, you are the kings of self-sovereignty. So, what royalty, Baba is saying? Self-sovereignty in the present time. Why? Because of being a Raj Yogi, the soul becomes a master of the self. You rule the self. The soul is not influenced by the physical senses. The soul becomes the master and the king of the physical senses. So now at present, with the practice of Raj Yoga meditation, we become the master of the physical senses as well as the subtle senses, right? The soul becomes the master. So Baba says this is the royal status that is of the self-sovereignty. So you have self-sovereignty now and you also attain your fortune of the kingdom in the future. 
So you have a double kingdom. It is now and the status you attain in the future too. So present and future, both the times you receive this royal status. The third relationship is that of the Satguru. You have attained all three relationships, have you not? So check. Do I experience all three relationships with Baba? Because Baba says, no, if you lack in experiencing any one relationship, then that relationship will pull you here in the old world, right? That is why Baba is asking, do you experience the attainments of all three relationships? The father, the teacher, and the third is the Satguru. You receive the Srimat of the Guru from the Satguru. How elevated the directions are that you receive. So from the Satguru, you receive the Srimat. Check yourself. Am I constantly following Srimat? Or is my intellect sometimes diverted towards the dictates of the self or to the dictates of others? So does my intellect constantly follow one Baba Srimat? Or is it diverted? Baba says, check. Did you check yourself? From Amrit Vela until the time you sleep. Throughout the day, do I follow Srimad? Or my intellect is diverted? If you believe that you constantly follow Srimad, the elevated directions, that you never follow the dictates of your own self or others, even in your dreams, raise your hand. Baba says, if you constantly follow Srimad, then raise your hand. Those who constantly follow Srimad and never follow the dictates of the self or others, raise your hands. Look, the mothers raise their hands. You are raising them slowly. Sometimes your intellect goes in that direction. That is the dictates of others and of the self deceive you. So Baba is saying that sometimes the dictates of your own mind or the dictates of others deceive you. So what is the most important Srimat? Consider yourself to be a soul and remember me, your father. So Baba is saying this is the most important Srimat, that is the first Srimat, the basic Srimat. Consider yourself as a soul and remember Baba. So is this easy or difficult? So we can check accordingly. Do we follow this one Srimat throughout the day? How many times we come into the consciousness of the body? So Baba is asking, is it easy or difficult? Is it sometimes difficult? However, the father only wants each child to continue to fly forward ahead of all with these three relationships. So Bhagdada is asking, those who didn't raise your hands, can you renounce following the dictates of your own mind and the dictates of others from today? So Baba is saying, can you do that from today? Can you do this? Uh, raise your hand. So we all can do this, right? We promise Baba that we will do it. So throughout the day, we must pay attention that my intellect follows dictates of one Baba. So Baba is asking, can you do this from today? Acha, Baba Dada has already given you the signal of time. Now the time of the confluence age is extremely valuable. And Bab Dada has also given you the signal that according to the present time, everything is to happen suddenly. So we cannot question because Baba is telling us this in advance that everything has to happen suddenly. Therefore, you have to be Everything has to happen suddenly, so you have to be constantly ever ready. Do you not? 
all of you are going to go home together are you not or will you follow behind so we want to go together with baba or is it okay if we go behind you want to return to your home with bab dada do you not you are ready are you not are you ready to return home together ever ready not just ready but ever ready bab dada is giving you the signal of time in this one birth you have to create the reward for 21 births so so much efforts we need to make baba is saying that because you have to accumulate for 21 births in this one birth so just think how much attention you have to pay the father has love for every child the father wants every child to return with him and claim a right to the kingdom at the same time so go with the father and come with the father come with father brahma in the golden age so in order to return home together only if you become complete and perfect the same as the father will you then be able to return home with the father so to go together you need to become equal to the father right at this time in this small birth the attainment of 21 births is guaranteed so just think how great each minute of the small birth of the confluence age is just calculate this you have to claim your fortune for the of the kingdom for 21 births in this one birth and so how valuable just one minute of the conference age is now many times baba has said this that one minute of conference age is equal to one year so baba says that you really need to give so much value to your time because baba is saying this one birth is such a small birth and you have to accumulate for 21 births so what will you have to do knowing this value so knowing the value of time what will you do so baba is again reminding us baba told you earlier to that you have to pay special attention to two things what are these two things do you remember these do you not so what are the two things do we remember baba says one is time and the other is thoughts your thoughts should not be wasted your time should not be wasted each second should be used in a worthwhile way each second should be used in a worthwhile way right if you use your thoughts in a worthwhile way your time is also used in a worthwhile way it's both right together so speak you will have to pay that much attention will you not bab dada has love for all the children bab dada doesn't want any child to remain deprived of his company you are together you will return together you will return home together you will claim a right to the kingdom together and constantly experience happiness and peace in your life so speak you will return home together will you not you will will you not so baba is asking us again and again do you wish to go home together with the father or are you okay going behind you will not be left behind will you look three types of fortune are sparkling on each one's forehead so what are the three types of fortune baba talked about 
Fortune of relationships and attention. Yeah, very nice. Baba said the fortune of your birth, fortune of your relationships, and fortune of the attainments. So Baba said that if fortune is sparkling on your forehead, all these three types of fortune are visible on your forehead, are they not? So you experience this fortune, right? The confluence age is the fortunate age. Any of you can create as much fortune as you want. However, you need to pay attention over a long period of time. Right? So Baba always reminds us of these three words that are suddenly, ever ready and practice or efforts over a long period of time. So now all of you children have to put intensity into your own effort. You are effort makers. Bab Dada is seeing that you do make effort. But everyone now has to make intense effort. Bab Dada now wishes to see every child as a child and a master. So Baba's child as well as the master. Master of what? A master of all the treasures. Sometimes some children say to Bab Dada, Baba, you have given all the powers and we do accept ourselves as master almighty authorities. However, many children then complain. Sometimes the power that we need does not come to us at that time. So this is the complaint that children have. We have the powers, we experience the powers, but then the power doesn't come to us at the right time. However, what is the reason for this? So Baba is asking us to check what is the reason for this. The father has given all powers to each one. Has he given them? Or is it that he has given less to some? and more to others? You know the reason for this too, but you forget it at that time. Each child has received the treasure of all powers as an inheritance. So being Baba's child, Baba says you receive the inheritance of all powers. The Father has given everyone the inheritance of all powers. It isn't that he has given less to some and more to others. He has given all the powers. But why do they not come to you at that time? Why do they not come to you at the right time? Just think, if someone is not seated on his seat of self-respect, would anyone accept his order? So when that power does not come to you, the reason for that is that you do not set yourself on the seat of a master almighty authority. So Baba is telling us the reason why we are not able to use the power we want at the right time. Because Baba says you do not seat yourself on the seat of the self-respect that I am a master almighty authority. Therefore, when you are not on your seat, no one accepts your orders. So always remain seated on your seat. Always. Always remain seated on your seat. Sometimes you have waste thoughts and sometimes you have tension. And so you let go of the seat of self-respect at that time. So why do you get down of the seat? Baba is saying because of waste thoughts or you, you are tensed, Baba says. Sometimes you have waste thoughts and sometimes you have tension. And so you let go of the seat of self-respect at that time. Bab Dada has given each of you 
so many points of self respect the seat of self respect is so huge right there's a big list of self respect that baba has given us so just count how many points of self respect the father has given even in each day's murli there are so many self respect points that baba gives us so baba is telling that count your self respect when you're not seated on your seat of self respect do you know what then happens you know that do you not there is body consciousness so if baba is saying if you are not seated on the seat of self respect that that means there is body consciousness there is either self respect or body consciousness when you issue an order while seated on the seat of body consciousness the powers will not listen to you otherwise it is not possible that the powers do not listen to those who are master almighty authorities constantly practice being set on your seat so very important practice baba is telling us to do here constantly practice to be seated on the seat of self respect not to get upset if to be set on your seat check whether you are doing karma yoga service or churning that you are set on your seat and that all powers are present today bab dada toured around at amrit vela and while touring around everywhere abroad and here it doesn't take bab dada long to go around everywhere what did he see should baba tell you so baba is asking baba saw each one of us the tamrit vela and what did baba see the majority of children were sitting for amrit vela had got up and were sitting in their own places they were making effort to be an image of experience all the time they were sitting there they wanted that but what did baba see some were images of experience all the time they were sitting there because the greatest power is that of experience so baba is saying some were images of experience and they were experiencing at amrit vela because the greatest power is that of experience baba says no anubhav ki authority an embodiment of experience an experienced embodiment of all powers master knowledgeful a master embodiment of all powers however there was something lacking in your becoming an image of experience you do make effort bab dada still congratulated you because the majority come and make effort the majority of you sit but bab dada wants you to sit as an image of an embodiment of the experience of light and might because the sakash of the yoga at amrit vela spreads everywhere into the atmosphere so what does baba want baba says you do sit you do make efforts but what do we need to do now baba is saying become an image of the embodiment of light and might right light swarup might swarup because baba is saying the sakash of amrit vela yoga spreads everywhere into the atmosphere increase this experience even more you saw father brahma his stage was that of such a powerful angelic form in the same way pay attention at amrit vela in your own in your own way tirelessly 
we've been listening to mama's stories right and this was mama's greatest effort you know she paid a lot of attention to amrit vela she never missed however late she would sleep because of any kind of seva but she would wake up at 2 am and sit in solitude sit in silence and remember baba so baba is also telling us that pay attention at amrit vela in your own way tirelessly bab dada saw that some children sit there in the form of light and might it isn't that they don't they do sit in this way but you will have to pay even more attention to the effort of this time that is amrit vela bab dada had already signaled you earlier that you have to keep your mind constantly busy keep your mind constantly busy right this is the way to or the yukti to remain free from maya remain free from waste thoughts so baba says engage your mind in something worthwhile whether in service through the mind keep your mind busy whether in service through the mind or serving through the words or with the churning power keep your mind busy churn knowledge churning power makes your mind concentrated churning power makes your mind concentrated some children churn well but now also increase your churning power throughout the day because bab dada has love for even the last child bab dada wants even the last child to return home with him he should not be left behind so even the last child baba says should not be left behind he should not be left behind so what will you do so baba gave us the signal of time baba has drawn our attention towards the amrit vela meditation towards the practice over a long period of time to be seated on the seat of the self respect of master almighty authority so now baba is asking us what will you do now attention so the key word in today's murli is attention see the gathering today bab dada knows that there is definitely going to be expansion you have celebrated the 75th jubilee bab dada is congratulating the children for that bab dada also saw the love for service that you children have those from each place have enthusiasm and the fruit and power of service is also visible bab dada especially saw that wherever the children have served a great number of souls who are instruments in the government there have emerged as a result of that baba knows that according to the present time when sorrow and peacelessness are increasing the topic you have chosen is essential the topic was to become tension free no tanav mukt jeevan because the more peace that they want the more that peacelessness is increasing to the same extent some form of peacelessness or other definitely comes and because of this tension is increasing everywhere the government also wants bharat to become tension free so bab dada is congratulating all those children who have served baba is also giving congratulations in advance to those who are going to do service bab dada now wants each and every child to follow the father and definitely become complete the same as the father bab dada saw that all the children are making effort they have love for making effort and they even make promises to themselves i will not do this any more i will not do this any more however what is the reason for this so baba is saying you make promises but you are not able to keep up to that promise why 
the reason is the lack of determination in your effort. The reason is lack of determination. Carelessness comes in between. It will happen. It will happen. It will become. I will become. This carelessness makes your effort slack. Gay, gay, Baba says, no, ho jayega, kar lenge, dekh lenge. So Baba says, this is the language of carelessness. So what will you do now? Now pay special attention to this. Make your own program for yourself in which you keep your mind busy throughout the whole day. You have to make your own program. Make your own timetable for yourself to keep your mind busy. Right? We plan for, for the day, right? So Baba says accordingly, you make a timetable for your mind to keep your mind busy. Whether you churn or serve or draw one another's attention, keep your mind busy. Remain busy in your mind. You remain busy physically anyway. But now remain busy with your mind. Become a number one businessman by keeping your mind busy. So Baba says keep your mind busy and become a number one businessman. Are you able to do this? Will you do this? Will you? Will you? You know that Father Brahma is also waiting for you. And your advance party is also waiting for you. When will you bring the time close? Because you are responsible for bringing the time close. To make yourself complete means to bring the time close. So when will the time come close? Baba says it depends on you children. Baba is waiting. The elements are waiting. The advance party is waiting. So Baba says you need to make your stage complete because only then the time of completion will come close. Babdada has already given you one special month. In this one month, each one has to become an intense effort maker. Not just an effort maker, but definitely become an intense effort maker. Do you agree to this? Are you ready for this? Uh, so we are ready for this intense effort, right? Acha, congratulations. Now each one of you has to have a determined thought. Then what result are you going to give Bhaktada daily regarding your whole day of intense effort? Not of your effort, but of your intense effort. Are you ready for this? So Baba is asking us, are you ready to make intense effort? And then give the chart of your intense effort to Baba. Are you ready? Raise both of both your hands. Very good. In that case, Baba Dada will suddenly ask for the result in between. He will not give you the date. Suddenly, at any time of the month, Baba Dada will ask for the result. I have to do this. Make this promise to yourself. Babdada can make you make a promise and he does this all the time. But now have this thought by yourself and demonstrate this by doing it practically. So Baba is saying you do make promises to Baba, but now make this promise to yourself and do it practically. I definitely do have to do this. Not that I will do it at some time. Now saying that you will do it at some time is not good. Time is now moving forward. It is going into its extreme. So you ancestors who are to transform the time. So again, Baba is giving us this title here. Who are you? You are the ancestor souls, the instrument to transform the time. Do you not feel mercy for your unhappy family? Become merciful. Show the path of happiness to those who are unhappy, whether through your thoughts, your words, or your connections and relationships. 
they are your family are they not so you have to remove the sorrow of the family become merciful acha om shanti so let us just pause for a while and then we can share our journey Om Shanti. Anyone would like to share? What did you take from today's Murli? Om Shanti. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my takeaway point from today's Murli is where Baba is. My Baba has said that. Uh, become we need to become an intense effort maker om shanti yeah so baba said not just effort makers but intense effort makers and then give your chart to baba baba said you will give your chart daily right yeah yeah <coughs> om shanti sasu Um, very truly, Baba says that we can't keep our promise, you know, because of lack of determination. And for that, as Baba told me, we have to make a timetable. I think uh, in Amrit Vila or one day before, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, Amrit Vila. So, Didi, I want to ask you, okay, timetable. means uh like uh, amrit vela to we have to do and monthly also as we need but uh, what uh, like uh, whole day we have to keep in mind baba hai na yeah anything else basically baba is talking here about the time table of your mind right mind yeah so you have to plan according to your routine for that like what kind of work you have to do throughout the day suppose if it is cooking then you remember baba when cooking right okay And baba gives many yuktis for oh, i mean to connect remembrance and your karma for karma yoga right karma yoga yeah ji so you add ingredients to your food then you add happiness you add peace you add baba's light likewise whatever work you are doing okay. remember baba in the beginning for a minute and then begin to do it another way is you take up a swaman that is a point of self respect okay. so according to your work you can take any self respect or experience baba with any particular relationship okay. yeah so yes. it depends on the time and what kind of work you are doing accordingly you can connect that like like brahma baba did no he made everything logic into a logic he spiritualized yeah. every physical task as well yeah. so that ways ji ji am put what i actually i am uh, like supervisor head in kg wing uh, school na no? so i try a lot in office though i don't have so much work uh no no uh, no doubt i have to do the observation okay that is no problem but if i sit idle it becomes very difficult for me to remember me so i think what should i do uh, anyway i can read modli or uh, shiv uh, shivaba app is there so what else means how i can uh, remember baba like soman you told no 
ki someone also we take that is also good point ki we can take but we have to repeat and become the embodiment of uh, someone that thing because otherwise also people are looking at people can say ki matlab people can think ki ha ma'am is busy in uh, like other so that they they may they take it wrong also na so in money man what can we do means uh, like in bhakti to we uh, used to like you know ki recite the mantra ye wo to what can we do now in the office so remembering remembering baba is the work of the mind and intellect right so yeah so that is the internal task but then if you have time and you're sitting idle that time you can read a point from the murli if you're not able to create any powerful thought by yourself okay. take something from the murli take the day's blessing okay. churn on that how can you use that blessing for your day okay or take any point whichever you like from the murli even just one word if you pick up from the murli and churn on that practice on that point that really helps i feel every day's murli is the best and easiest way to use throughout the day ji ji thank you thank you so much welcome om shanti shanti the cherry point from today's murli where baba speaks about the three things that we are fortunate about that's relationship attainment and brahman birth so where i was getting connected was the word rub also is is you know, spelled as r a b so yeah. whenever the word rub is what i remember or if that's there with me then what comes in front of me is relationship attainment and brahman birth and that's the easy way to get connected and be with baba all the time that's one thing which i got from today's murli the second point in today's murli is where baba gives the axis of how to use powers at the right time and he gave the reason as what's the gap when we are not able to use the right power at the right time and today he mentions that if we are not sitting in this on the seat of self respect then we deceive ourselves by using those powers which are not required at a given point of time so another point uh, to practice is to remain in the seat of self respect and one more thing that he pointed out today was we come out of the seat of self respect because we get into body consciousness so the practice is to remain in soul consciousness and in the same murli baba says the practice for it is remember i the soul and baba is supreme soul so these are few points from the murli i think there are many points uh, that can be looked at turning and breaking in practice but these are the points for me to take take home om shanti very nicely you connected rakhi ben i like that rub <laughs> rub means god if those who have not understood rub is god right and then from god you're receiving relationships attainments and this pure brahman birth that was nice yeah constantly throughout the day today we can pay this attention to ourselves that am i seated on the seat or constantly see yourself seated on the seat in the center of the forehead full charge full charge of your senses right in charge of your senses yeah anyone else would like to share om shanti om shanti sister kepa how the bank hit experience you are an end of experience of light and mind and make sure that you are giving the cash to the entire thing of function yeah rakhi ben what did you say uh bhavna ben was telling uh, yeah yeah i, I couldn't hear what you were saying it was about yeah yeah 
Uh, uh, should I speak now? Am I audible? Yeah, now you're audible. Mm -hmm. Okay, but brother today said that during the time of Amritvela, you need to pay attention that you are an embodiment of experience of light and might. So some children uh, uh, are an embodiment of experience, but not for all the time. So uh, it's important that the entire Amritvela uh, is uh, fruitful and also gives a cash to the entire world and make the atmosphere uh, full of uh, powerful vibrations. Om Shanti. So you will do Shanti. that, right? Yeah. Good morning. In the Murli, uh, Papa reminded us our responsibility that in the world, facelessness and tension is increasing. So somehow Baba is explaining that you should do intense effort. And also Baba said, uh, given reason that why we slack our effort. Uh, because many times we say that it will happen, I will become. So Baba said that you give this responsibility, then it will become very easy to make our effort uh, very intense. Because when we uh, keep this mind that in the world there is tension increasing and my responsibility to spread the rays of happiness and peace. And also, yeah, Baba explained about, uh, emphasized the point of the Amrit Vela. We do Amrit Vela, but at that time, Baba said, make your stage very, very powerful. And as we all have experienced that when we do Amrit Vela very powerful, then throughout the day, we feel itself is very powerful, our stage. And we are capable to give throughout the day souls that peace and happiness through the, our mind, through the, our word and through the, our attitude. Yeah. And, uh, and Baba said that uh, you should become the number one businessman. And for that, uh, Baba mm, given technique that you make, you keep your mind busy all the time. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, and today Baba says, uh, adding on to what Pratibha Ben mentioned, um, one technique that he's mentioned is to keep ourselves busy and take care of using our time and thoughts in the best way is keep churning the knowledge. Yes. Yeah, and in this way, we will become complete, means we, uh, we take that time very close. Mm -hmm. Baba said, now that we ask Baba that when time will close, when Satyuk will come. So Baba said, it's up to on you only. When you will become complete, then time will come close. Yeah. Thank you. So the key word today is attention, right? Attention to your thoughts attention to how you use your time, attention to the Amrit Vela meditation. So become an embodiment of light and might at Amrit Vela, but also throughout the day and spread these vibrations everywhere. And uh, one more thing Baba reminded that we are so lucky that Bab teacher Sadhguru is everything is in the one only. In no one. part of these mm -hmm. are separated, but here we got it in one only. So here remembrance is very easy. So why we are feeling Baba's remembrance is difficult because we are uh, not connecting all relationships with Baba. So Baba has emphasized here as a, uh, that Madhuban asking now that throughout the day, how remember Baba? So here I would like to say that you connect all relationships with Baba, then it will become very easy and at your work workplace or uh, you uh, make Baba as your companion and everything you share with Baba and everything you do with Baba then you will feel that you are so powerful because your companion is very powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay so let's meditate for a while for two minutes sit in silence and make a promise to yourself, right? What inspiration you take from today's Murli? What do you decide for yourself? And then do it practically and give your chat at the end of the day to Baba.
remain seated on the seat of self-respect in the center of the forehead and have this pure intoxication of your elevated fortune. I am a master almighty authority and all my subtle and physical senses obey my orders. I am the master of all powers. So my every thought, every second is used in a worthwhile way. As I absorb light and might from Baba, I also radiate this light and might out into the atmosphere. Om Shanti. Om Shanti Baba, Om Shanti Sharmila Ben. Thank you, family. Thank you, Sharmila Ben. And we shall meet tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. with a session on values and virtues for tomorrow morning. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.